What is up guys, it's Nola Epidemic here and today I'm bringing you my dream team in FIFA 14, my favourite squad so to speak. There's a lot of great players and this is a Liga BBVA squad. I was debating whether to bring you guys this or the Bundesliga squad but I definitely think this is a better team than the Bundesliga squad so therefore I'm bringing you this instead. And the reason why I haven't included any gameplay of this team is simply because I haven't got the coins to buy the entire team. I have a few million coins but... In Honestly, that's nothing in comparison to 62 million coins on PS3 or 35 million on Xbox. That's a lot of money and I definitely don't have those coins. But it is a 100 chemistry team. So starting off as a goalkeeper, we have Courtois, 88 team of the season Courtois, 87 Devin, 92 hand on, 73 kicking, 90 reflexes, 50 speed, which is a little bit low. But it doesn't really affect him that much in my eyes. He's still a great keeper. And 89 positioning. What a great card that is. And he's definitely the greatest goalkeeper in the Liga BBVA in my opinion. Left back we have Felipe Luiz. Felipe Luiz also links up with Golden in the centre back too. Off that I go Madrid. Centre back and left back sorry. And the goalkeeper Courtois obviously links up with Golden. Golden is a great card. Although his pace could be a little bit higher compared to Ramos. It doesn't really matter too much considering he has 92 defence and also 90 heading. Ramos, Sergio Ramos, you guys probably knew that I was going to put him there. He is one of my favourite players in this entire game. 86 pace, 81 passing, 79 dribbling, 92 defence and also 94 heading. Definitely the highlights of that card and all around a great defensive player. He can also make him some great runs, make some great passes and create a lot of chances. So therefore that is why I have him in the centre back position. Right back we have Dani Alves who is definitely my favourite player in FIFA 14. I've always liked him and not only the team of the season card, I've also really liked his original card. Especially when the game first came out, I was using him a lot. You'll probably see him in a lot of my squad builders that i done at the start of FIFA 14. But his stats are just crazy. <laughs> 95 pace which is nuts. And also 78 shot which is crazy for a right back. 88 passing again crazy for a right back. And we have 91 dribbling. 86 defence and also 80 heading. Moving on we have 3 centre mids. On the left centre mid position we have Di Maria. Di Maria links up with Ronaldo. Which is definitely great for the chemistry side of things. And also on the centre midfield position we have Xavi. Xavi has a crazy card guys. 97 passing is the highlight of his card. Along with Iniesta who also has 97 passing. He has 97 dribbling which is 4 extra than Xavi. But they're both great cards don't get me wrong. I'm not choosing one over the other. I would definitely prefer to have both of them. Which I do have in this team. Right wing we have Gareth Bale. 93 rated. And his stats are insane. 96 pace, 95 shot, 91 passing, 92 dribbling, 80 defending and 82 heading. The left wing position was always going to go to Ronaldo, 98 card rating and that's just one of the highest ratings alongside Messi. I think those two are the highest ratings in this game. 98 pace, 97 shooting, 87 passing, 98 dribbling, 54 defence which you're not going to worry too much about because like, he's, like I said he is a left winger and 92 heading which is great for this card. He can score some great heading goals if he does get the chance. He could be a little bit bigger but I'm not worrying about that because really if I get him on the left wing I'm pretty much guaranteed to score with those insane stats. Striker we have none other than Lionel Messi. One of my favourite players also alongside Alves. 97 pace, 99 dribble, 96 shooting, 92 passing. 52 defending, which again, he falls under the same category as Ronaldo. You won't really need that defending. And 77 heading, which is decent, but he's not that big. So he's not going to really get to head the ball anyway, if he is coming this, if he is coming against a really good defender who's pretty big or along the same size. He's just not going to win that ball. But striking-wise, he's a great player and definitely my favourite player to have in this position. But that is the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. As always, it helps out tremendously. I want to take this time to thank you guys for entering in my 1 million coins giveaway. I've got nearly 200 likes, I believe, at the moment. And that's fucking nuts, guys. <laughs> 200 likes and I only have 600 odd subs. So I'm pretty happy about that. Definitely stoked. But thanks again for watching. Have a great day and peace.